friends happy friday once again your girl is back i was minding my business scrolling through youtube per usual and i said i know you effing lion <laughs> i know jazz did not just get on this camera with the mama dukes i know she did it jazz i'm going to keep it a stack with you you know i don't really talk about appearance but you look like you walked in the salon and said, give me the Edward Scissorhands X Mama Dukes. <laughs> I am just being honest. You are giving every bit of holiday heart. I mean, like El DeBarge. <laughs> it is so bad. Have you guys ever seen the five... <laughs> the five heartbeats i can't even talk because i am really weak i think the guy's name that i'm referring to was big red so if you've seen the five heartbeats you already know the vibes like i'm not even dragging it friends i literally <laughs> cannot contain myself <laughs> it is so hard to do this video <laughs> after seeing that juice curl yes i said juice curl because it looks real wet slick and juicy let me show you guys a clip from the five heartbeats just for the people who may not have seen it now friends tell me i'm lying tell me she is not giving every bit of big red please look at the picture <laughs> If you haven't seen the movie, please go watch it because it's a good movie. And when Big Red's curls start sweating out, <laughs> it drops down his face the same exact way her curls are. I literally am losing it. This is hilarious. You honestly are asking for it. Why would you ever get on this camera with that Motown wig? <laughs> why would you do it i mean you look like a motown act you look like an r&b singer <laughs> you, i can't even talk this is by far <laughs> the worst look and you've come on here with a lot of terrible looks but this is by far the worst fitting look <laughs> Friends, I am so sorry. I am literally trying to hold it together, but I can't. I can't. Jazz, you look like the mother of the bride in every 90s wedding. But I'm weak because you also look like every creepy uncle who's always trying to get with your friends and he has that same slick perm hairstyle because he can't let go of the Motown days. I know Chris is really tight because every little ounce of femininity you had has left the building. When you put that unit on your head, you are giving straight testosterone. <laughs> Not only are you giving masculinity, but I'm sure he's also irritated with the fact that everywhere you go in the house, you are leaving your soul glow <laughs> traces all over the place. You have to be. Friends, if you don't know what soul glow is, it's from coming to America. I'm going to insert a clip. <laughs> Now, by the looks of that unit on your head, I know your soul is glowing all throughout that house. Again, my apologies, friends. I literally could not contain the laughter. I had to take a break. I am back now, but I am making no promises. I might lose it again <laughs> throughout this video. No disrespect to her mom, but all she needs is a limp jack a bottle of jack and she is cheryl dukes herself <laughs> busy trying to be like strong mommy chrissy and you ended up looking like edward scissorhands ex mama dukes i guess that is just how the game goes this is why you should love you do you and be you 
I did not intend to come on here and have a roast fest, but somebody had to tell you. I know your fake friends aren't going to tell you. I know your fake supporters aren't going to tell you. So I am doing you a favor and telling you, take the unit out, take it to the front where your fire pit is, place it in the fire pit while it is lit and let it burn like usher. Even though Chris is a POS and he always looks at you in disgust, I am pretty sure he is beyond disgusted at this point. I'm sure he's looking at you like, I did not sign up to be laid up with a Motown artist. <laughs> Friends, doesn't this remind you of the time on The Real Housewives of Atlanta when I think Portia it was? said to Sheree, you need to take off that tired Mama Joyce wig. I want to tell Jess, take off that tired Mama Duke's wig. Okay, I am going to get off of the wig now because if I don't, I will not stop and I don't have the time. Being that I'm here, I might as well react to the rest of the video. So here we go. Okay, getting straight into it, there wasn't anything out of the usual. Kaylin was bussing suds and getting put to work as per usual. But what I will say is Jazz, take my advice. You cannot just rinse meat off like that, especially not pork. Put it in the bowl with some cold water and about a half a cup to a cup of vinegar and let it soak for five minutes, the least, if you can. If you don't have any vinegar, just use some lime juice or some lemon juice. You could even put salt in the water, something. Do something besides rinsing it for two seconds underwater. And also, you really have to learn how to wash your hands properly. I can't imagine how much feces is under your fingernails because you do not know how to wash your hands. How are you washing your hands for under 20 seconds? Under running water, you are not getting rid of any germs, sis, and then you're touching the meat that you didn't even clean properly. Yuck. I am so proud of her friends. She just referred to macaroni and cheese as macaroni and cheese and not macaronis for the first time. See, she's listening. So she said the kids are having pork chops and macaroni and cheese because she ran out of string beans. What did I say in my previous video? How are you running out of food? Why aren't you buying enough food for your household? But you know what, sis, I'm not even going to drag it because a hot home cooked meal beats chicken nuggets any day. So then she goes on to say that Chris finally started putting together the kids dressers as if what a coinky dink. He's now going to the store and you're going to finish it. Yes, sis, you built that dresser by your lonesome. Moving along, the clip changed to the next morning and she claims that Chris finally started building the girl's dresser as if. What a coinky dink that he chose to go to the store while you were on camera and now you are finishing the assembly of the dresser. Yes, sis, you built that dresser from start to finish by yourself. I will never understand why she continuously tries to push Chris in everyone's face, trying to make him look like this Captain Save the Day, aka Captain Hips. He is no superhero. He is a loser and an alleged abuser. So let's address that before anything else. You can drop as many positive vlogs as you want back to back. You can drop five vlogs a day at the end of the day the people want to know the people want chris to address these allegations nothing more and nothing less it is not going to go away okay moving along i see where you're trying to go jazz the dresser is a very nice addition but if i'm being honest i have to say you need to take those curtains down and replace them with doors for their closet that room looks so tacky. Honestly, it looks like a trap house. Get it together. And I know Rome wasn't built in a day. 
progress is part of the process, right? So all you have to do is shampoo that rug, replace Amaya's mattress, get you some closet doors, throw up a couple of pictures, some nice little girly flowers, unicorns, you know, whatever they like, and it'll all come together. I am going to leave it at that. Okay, friends, at this point, I am completely done with this video. I came to address the jerry curl, and that is what I did. Let me know what you think about this new Motown look down below. Friends, you already know the vibes. Like what you like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will talk to you down below and in the next video.